average. Just like that, see, at a thousand, that's how you do it. morning everybody and welcome back to another video today i got a great day planned today is wednesday right now it's 8 30 i just dropped my girlfriend off she had work at 8 a.m and we got about an hour until the new york stock exchange opens and that means we have about an hour to get everything prepared get this vlog structure get my trading day prepared get the vip trading network and also take a shower and get myself walk my dog feed my dog get all of that done within this next hour so that i don't got to worry about it going into you know the trading trading hours don't like to be interrupted when it comes to the trading. I just like to get that hour, hour and a half span of work done and try to just knock it out as best as possible, highest quality as possible, and just do it as efficient as I can. This is also day number six, day number six of the 30 day challenge. We got six days, five days complete, and we're gonna have a six day complete today. So let's work on doing that. So now that I'm back at the apartment, now that I'm back at the setup, I mainly wanted to talk to you guys about my new risk parameters because previously when I first started doing these vlogs, I was risking about $250 per trade and risking about $500 per day total. So if I take two trades risking 250, I would risk $500 for the entire day. And that's something that I think is still very good risk management. But when it comes to passing challenges, when it comes to trying to be efficient when getting funding, Risking 250 a day to 500 a day just takes a very long time when it comes to passing challenges. And at this point, I just don't think it's a very sustainable and it's not a very efficient method of going about it. So what I did change is the fact I doubled it. So instead of risking 250 per trade, I'm gonna be risking 500 per trade. Instead of risking 500 a day max, I'm gonna be risking 1,000 a day max. And the reason I do that is, it's gonna take three days of me fully losing in a row every single trade to be able to lose a funding account when it comes to Top Step or any uh, futures prop firm because a lot of them have similar rules. But that's really all it's gonna be. And I think that's a good time frame. If I'm losing three days in a row, I'm fine with taking the L on the account because I'm looking to get funding fast. I'm not looking to speed run it, but I'm also looking to do it efficiently. I don't wanna spend a whole month, two months trying to get funding to then maybe take two, three weeks to try to get a payout. It just takes a long time. I'd rather take a longer time to get a payout with the funded account and consistently try to get a payout versus spending all the time on a challenge that isn't even going to make me more money. If I see a very good trade, I'm also going to allow myself to risk the full thousand on one trade. So with that being said, if I have a target of 6%, which is 6,000, if I have a trade that I'm risking a thousand and I make a one to two, one to three, I'm going to make two, three thousand and I'm going to be already 20, 30% to the target just in one day. I think that's the best way to go about it, but the top step challenges aren't expenses, com aren't expensive compared to such as the Forex prop firms because those tax, those are a couple hundred, but when it comes to top step 100K account, you can get it for about $100, which is pretty cheap considering how much you can actually make from it if you have the skill set. And that's the most important thing. You don't wanna go into funding, you don't wanna try to get a prop firm challenge if you don't have experience, if you don't have a system, if you don't have good risk management, because you're going to go through money. And like I said, the Forex challenges, they've taken much, they've taken so much money from me. They've taken over $10,000 from the span of when I first started trading to now. They've taken a lot of money. And then futures is way cheaper. The rules make sense. And it's just more stable at the end of the day. But that being said, we're about to hop on into the VIP trading network. We're about to trade. We're about to see what we can catch today. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. It is 9.09. And we're about to we're about 20 minutes away from the open so we're about 20 minutes away from possibly making some money or possibly losing some money but at the end of the day we're just going to follow the rules stick to the plan and trade like we're supposed to got that tang ready hey, good morning and that's a little premature i just started the vip trade network nobody even joined yet i literally started probably like 30 seconds ago but i am watching this possible short at this four hour for value gap on nas 100. today definitely looks like it could be a trending bullish day but short term, I only see shorts. It's either shorts right now or I wait for shorts so I can get longs. One or the other. But right now, I definitely think the next short term move is going to be a short. Nine. Nope, it's 9.30 now. Okay, it's pushing. It's getting a good push. We're going to see. I definitely want to watch a short, but I'm just going to let it do its thing first. All right, I just took the shorts on NAS 100 at the four hour gap. I let it push a little bit higher so I can let it see if it was going to go short. As you can see right now, we're like I said, we're in a little bit of drawdown, but it's all good. And round entry, ideally I would want to see us run for this low right here. That would be a good area for me to break even. And best case would run this low all the way down there for a TP3. But this is only the first trade of the day. Let's see what happens.
Alright, so the first trade I ended up getting out at break even. I don't like the way Nas was playing out. So now that I waited for US30 to give a pullback to this area I was watching, we're gonna see what it could do. As you can see, if I show the account metric, we're up about, well, this is total profit, but we're gonna see this trade looks like it could play out. Ideally, I would wanna see this New York high get targeted and the previous day's high. This is the four hour, the one hour gap, and you also have this inversion gap. And I think this is also around the 700 area. Not ideally, but it's just the zone. But we'll see what happens. We're halfway to TP1. Come on, TP1. You almost there. Tap that time. Let's see, once we hit that bando, we out. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on, TP2. We ain't gonna close it. I'm gonna close it right on a thousand. You know how I am. I'll take this shit to the grave. To the grave! Just like that. See, at a thousand, that's how I do it. I paid for my commission. Bag secured with the full, you mean? And just like that, you can see the trade hit. I ended up taking it off at a one to two. Originally, the one to three was the main target, but I just took it off at a one to two. Because and if you look at for the day, for the day, we ended up at nine, nine, six. So we made back yesterday's loss. So now tomorrow, if we have a trade, we're back 100% in profit. Trades that we called out, you can see I called, um, not sure why I did that. But the trades that we called from earlier, you can see we sent them in the chat before it happened. I sent that at 9.50. Kino also sent the shorts that he was in. We had his trade hit his TP. He had his TP2 hit. We had his TP3 hit. And all that. Then TP4 also got hit on his trade that he called in here. Then Powell started talking. We kind of were just talking a little bit because this whole time we we're still waiting for the one trade to play out. Kind of just talking. And then our trade finally hit target right over there. And this was all called out inside the VIP trading network. It took a little while to play out, but nonetheless, patience is key. So overall, for the trades that we called today, me and Kino both called a trade, so two wins, not bad. The main thing I want to stress for you guys is you need to have a journal. You have to have everything written down, all of your trades, all your back testing, your system, your strategies, everything. And as you can see, I use Notion, and I have a whole bunch of different things. I have my trade plan. I have my 30-day challenge in here. I have my journal trades. I have daily ranges. As you can see, I have things such as my day, my Asian session play data, which is just essentially a whole bunch of information, a whole bunch of charts that I have stuff written down so I can learn from. I have everything when it comes to my strategy, challenges, my entire trade plan, everything is on here. And I even have all of my journal trades in here. So as you can see, the trades from the last three days, Friday was a L, yesterday was a L. Was that Friday? No, Monday was a L, Tuesday was a L. And then today we made back a lot loss. So right now, tomorrow we're gonna see if we can get a win. And if we get a win, we're in profit for the week. But you gotta look. I have everything written down from whether it was a long or a sell, how many lots I used for the trades, did I follow my rules, the type of setup, the exit logic, how much I made, the risk reward. I have screenshots of me getting in and out the trades. So if what I were to click on the one from today, this is the entry of the trade that I took today that ended up playing out just like this and I can be able to learn from it because this is what I'm going to learn from. I'm not going to learn from this because this happened after the fact, but if I can learn how to get in before it happens, then I'm going to be able to reverse engineer my trading. And then I also have notes to myself. I usually just put the reason why I entered a trade, but yeah. And then I also have the date and I have that all the way for months and months and months. This is just from 2020 three october because i redid my journal but i have trades and journals and copy books i have so much journaling is 100 percent necessary if you want to be a successful trader at the end of the day the only way i was able to learn the type of setups i was actually good at the types of trades i was good at and what i was doing most often and least often and what was working for me was because i was writing it all down and i have it all journaled i have the screenshots of trades that are playing out i have the best trades and i can see it the days of the week that I'm taking trades and I'm winning, the days of the week that I'm losing. Everything is in my notes and it has data that I can learn from. 
that's how you develop as a trader because I always tell you guys the main way you're going to develop as a trader, the main way you're going to become successful as a trader is learning from your experience. And the only way you're going to learn from your experience is if you actively have things written down like this. Because at the end of the day, we're humans, we forget things. Even if you tell yourself you're going to not do something, you're going to forget in a couple weeks. You're going to forget in a couple months. But if you have it written down to where you can look at it, where you have it written down where you can go back and check and learn from it every week, every day, you're only going to get better. Having a journal is necessary. Everybody needs it. So now that we're done trading with the VIP network, we just made a ban for the day. Successful day, we made back yesterday's loss. So right now, we're about to just continue what we do. We got to make content. We got to go to the gym. And we got to continue doing everything that we got to do for the 30-day challenge. So for the 30-day challenge, I have the daily priorities of post a YouTube video, which is what I'm recording right now. Sell my services, which probably will be somewhere in this video, which is also going to be in reels that I post. It's also going to be in shorts. Work out for 30 minutes. I posted a reel already. I did my morning affirmations and follow trade rules is complete because that's what we just did. And following the trade rules led to this profit right there and this successful trade right there with that amazing exit. This success shit don't happen overnight, bro. I wish it did happen overnight. I wish I could just lift some weights and be us. I wish I could just take a few trades and be rich. It's not that easy, man. It's a day by day thing. It takes a long ass time, bro. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I've been I've been doing this for years and I, I still haven't seen the results I want to. Some may say I have some crazy results. They want the life that I have, but I, I don't really care. If I'm trying to be a billionaire, what I have now ain't shit. It's not even 1% of where I'm trying to go. And it's hard, it's hard when you don't have it yet. It's hard when you know you're the reason you don't have it, but it also is. But you also know you're gonna be the reason why you do achieve all of it. It's a hard thing to face, but at the end of the day, everything is your control. Everything that you want, you can have. It's up to you to make it a reality, to make it happen. For all you guys still working, still working on achieving your goals, still working on getting into the position that you want to be, to feel fulfilled, to feel happy, keep going, bro. The job is never finished. And I got some news for you. It don't get easier. It doesn't get easier. We just get better at handling it. It's only going to get harder, but we're going to get better at, better at handling it through the more experience we get through, through the more hardship, through the more failures, through the losses. Is gonna build us to be able to to know how to handle the situations for the next time. Losses are lessons if you learn from them. That's the main thing. You have to learn from your losses. If you're just taking L's after L's after L's, doing the same thing and not learning from it, you're not going to change. But we just got done with our session for the day. We're about to head back to the curb, we're about to edit, chill for a little bit, rest up. Stay productive though. Appreciate everyone for watching this video. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Make sure you check the links in the description if you wanna join the VIP trading network where we trade live. You guys get our signals live and you get to trade with us live. Get that one-on-one -on -one experience live. Make sure you check the link in the description. The free course, it's a free trading course that will teach you everything you need to know to get the basics of trading. It's also in the description. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for the next vlog coming up. We're gonna have a good week. Let's have a good one.